वेलकम टू जेसिस मेट्रिकुलेशन स्कूल तालावाड़ी सोशल क्लास टुडे आई गो टू एक्सप्लेन यू इंडिया अग्रिकल्चरल टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड लेसन नंबर थ्री जियोग्रफी कंटिन्यू पार्ट इन द पास्ट क्लास आई एक्सप्लेन सॉइल एंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सॉइल्स एंड इरिगेशन एंड सोर्स ऑफ इरिगेशन the next agriculture and types of agriculture next today i go to explain you major crops cultivated in india the major crops of india are divided into four major categories as follows food crops wheat maize rice millets pulses and cash crops cash crops sugarcane tobacco cotton jute oil seed etc next plantation crops tea coffee and rubber etc and horticultural crops fruits flowers and vegetables today i go to explain you food crops due to its large population indian agriculture is largely dominated by the food crops now in that food crops i want to go to explain you first one is rice rice is a indigenous crop india is the second largest producer of rice in the world after china it is mainly a tropical crop growing mainly with mean temperature of 24 degree centigrade and annual rainfall of 150 cm right deep fertile clays or loamy soils are suited well in rice cultivations it also needs abundant supply of cheap labor rice in india is shown in three ways broadcasting plugging and drilling and transplanting due to increase the use of high yielding variety hyv seeds cr dhan 2005 and ar dhan 3006 Ah, three hundred and six and C R R in four fifty one etc. Many of the indigenous varieties were disappear. In two thousand sixteen, the first ten leading rice producing states are West Bengal, first in India, Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Bihar, Chhattisgarh, Odisha, Assam, and Haryana cropping seasons in India the major cropping cultivated will be cropping seasons northern states and southern states kharif season will be starting june to september northern states will be grown in rice cotton bronzara and maize zoha too and southern states will grow in rice ragi maize zoha and groundnuts next cropping seasons will be like in uh, rabi seasons it will be there in october and march uh rotten states will be grown uh, wheat gram rapid seeds mustard barley and uh, southern states will be rise in rice maize ragi groundnut jowa and jade seasons will be that in april and june seasons uh northern states are vegetables fruits food and southern states are rice vegetable and food next we are going to learn about wheat so I'll already i want to give you the right side uh, what are the states will be grown in the weeds in india where will be grown now and uh, wheat is the second most important crop food crops of the country after rice it is account for 22% of the total area and 34% of the total production of food grains in the country it uh, requires 10 to 15 uh, centigrade at the time of the sowing and uh, 20 to 25 centigrade at the time of the ripening of grains over 80% of the india's wheat production comes from five states namely uttar pradesh punjab haryana rajasthan and madhya pradesh apart from these regions the black soil tract of the deccan covering parts of the maharashtra and gujarat also contributed a major wheat productions next we are going to learn about johar johar is the third important food crops of our country 
It is an indigenous plant of Africa. The plant has a tendency to grow in advised climatic conditions. Its grains are rich in carbohydrates, protein, minerals and vitamins. Hence, it provides cheap food to the large section of the poor population. It is also used for food in many parts of the country. Joa is essentially a crop of the peninsula of India. Maharashtra, Karnataka and Madhya Pradesh are the leading producers of Joa. Next, we are going to learn about Banzara. Means called Bazra. We are now Bazra is an indigenous plant of Africa. This forms a stable food for the poor people. Its stalks are used as food for cattle and for thatching purposes. Bazra is a crop of dry raisins. Rajasthan is the largest producer of Bazra followed by Uttar Pradesh, Haryana, Gujarat, and Maharashtra. Next we are going to learn about barley. Barley is one of the important cereals of our country. Besides being poor man's diet, it is used for making barley water, beer and whiskey. Rajasthan and Uttar Pradesh are the two leading producers of barley. Next we are going to learn about pulses. Pulses include a large number of crops which are mostly leguminous and rich in vegetable proteins. They are used as human food and feeding cattle. They fix atmospheric nitrogen in the soil and hence are usually rotated with other crops. India is the largest producer of pulses. Next we are going to learn about cash crops cash crops which are cultivated for commercial purpose are called cash crops these crops include sugarcane tobacco fiber crops cotton jute and mesta and oil seeds next we are going to learn about cash crops the first one sugarcane it is the second largest producer in the world. These crops provides raw material for the sugar industry which is the second largest industrial category of our country. Besides providing sugar, gur and kandasari, it supplies moselses or alcohol industry and bagasse for paper industry. India is ranked third in sugar production in the world after Cuba and Brazil. At the state level, Uttar Pradesh is the leading producer of sugar cane followed by Maharashtra, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and Gujarat. Next we are going to learn about cotton. Cotton is the most important cash crops of India. It provides raw materials to the largest industry of India. India ranks second next to China in the production of cotton. About 79% of the total area and production in the country were contributed by four states. Gujarat, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh and Punjab. Next crop of cash crop is jute. It is a tropical fiber crop grows well in the alluvial soil. It provides raw material for jute industry. It is used for manufacturing of gunny bags, carpets, hessians, ropes and strings, rugs, cloths, tarpaulins and upholstery, etc. West Bengal is the leading state both in cultivation and production of jute. The other cultivation of jute are Bihar, Assam and Meghalaya. Now I want to give you the right side of your slide. Major cash crops grown in our India in different parts. So sugar cane where will we go now? Cotton, jute, oil seeds, tea, coffee, rambo and spices. Where will be grown in, the, in India? India? I will give you the, in the right side of the map. Next we are going to learn about 
oil seeds the last point of the cash crops oil seeds the premier source of fat in the indian diet are derived from number of crops like groundnut or rap seeds mustard sesame linseed sunflower castor seed cotton seed nigger seeds etc these provide oil and oil cake which are used for making lubricants varnish medicine for few candles soap manure and cattle feed gujarat is india's largest oil seed producing state in groundnut production india is the second largest producer in the world after china next we are going to learn about plantation crops the third point plantation crops are cultivated for the purpose of exports these are cultivated in large estates on hilly slopes tea coffee rubber and spice are the major plantation crops of india first we are going to learn about tea tea is an evergreen plant that mainly grows in tropical and subtropical climates tea is the labor intensive and grows faster under light shade tea plants require high rainfall but its root cannot tolerate water logging two major varieties of tea are cultivated in india they are b o h e a we are called now originated from china and assam mica we are called now a s s a m i c a from india a number of hybrid varieties have been developed by mixing these two india is the second largest producer of tea after china in the world assam is the larger producer of tea in india other states are tamil nadu kerala and west bengal next we are going to learn about coffee coffee is grown in shade and it is grow effectively in the altitude between 1000 and 1500 meter above mean sea level there are two main varieties of coffee they are arabica we are called now high quality cultivated more in india and robusta we are called is inferior quality india is the seventh largest producer of coffee globally karnataka is the leading producer of coffee in india it produce 71% in india and 2.5% in the world sources coffee board of india in 2018 norms next we are going to learn about rubber rubber plantations were the first established in kerala in 1902 it needs hot and wet climatic conditions temperature about 20 degree centigrade and rainfall about 300 cm most of the land under rubber belongs to small land holders the major rubber growing areas are tamil nadu kerala karnataka and andaman and nicobar islands <coughs> next we are going to learn about spice india has been world famous for its spice since ancient times the spice mostly used for flavoring the tempering the cooking food and for preparing medicines dye etc pepper chilies turmeric ginger cardamom clove and areca nut are the major spice cultivated in india kerala is the leading producer of spice in india next we are going to learn about the last point of uh, plantation crops is horticulture crops it refers to the cultivation of fruits flowers and vegetables fruits and vegetables are important supplement to the human diet as they provide essential minerals vitamins and fibers required for maintaining health india is the second positions in the production of fruits and vegetables